Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Skip Bayless drops shocking prediction for potential Lakers vs. Nuggets playoff rematch. On Sunday afternoon, LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers clinched the number 8 seed in the Western Conference playoff picture with a road win over the New Orleans Pelicans, a team they will coincidentally face in just 48 hours in the play-in game, with the winner moving on to face the Denver Nuggets in the first round of the playoffs and the loser getting one more chance to stave off elimination. The Lakers have been struggling with inconsistency throughout much of the year, but James and his teammates have stepped on the gas in recent weeks, ensuring that at the very least, Los Angeles will have two chances to win one game and make the postseason. Of course, it was those same Nuggets who sent the Lakers home in an unceremonious four-game sweep in last year's Western Conference Finals, leading some to wonder if Los Angeles should perhaps intentionally lose the game on Tuesday and try to win the next one, which would give them a much more favorable matchup in the Oklahoma City Thunder. However, sports media personality Skip Bayless of FS1 is not one of those people. If the Lakers have to play Denver in the first round, I got the Lakers this time. If LeBron can't close, Austin Reeves will, wrote Bayless on his account on X, the social media platform formerly referred to as Twitter. Of course, the general consensus is that the Lakers should try to win at all costs on Tuesday so that they won't be faced with a win-or-go-home scenario versus either the Golden State Warriors or the Sacramento Kings, two teams that had their way with Los Angeles in 2023-24, on Friday evening from the Crypto.com Arena. However, there is something to be said about a potential Lakers matchup with the Oklahoma City Thunder, who the Lakers dominated throughout the regular season and whose youth and inexperience, as well as lack of size on the interior, make them a seemingly easier playoff opponent than the Nuggets. Speaking of the Nuggets, Denver hasn't lost to the Lakers in well over a year, as Denver swept the regular season series this season after winning all four games, albeit each in close fashion, last year in the playoffs. The counterpoint to the prefer the Thunder line of thinking is that, in order to accomplish their real goal of winning a championship, the Lakers will likely have to face the Nuggets at one point or another. In theory, it would be more favorable to do so at the present moment with LeBron James and Anthony Davis both relatively rested, as opposed to in a month from now when there will be more wear and tear on their bodies. In any case, the first order of business is actually getting to the playoffs in some capacity. The Lakers will have a chance to do just that and set up a rematch with the Nuggets when they take on the Pelicans Tuesday evening at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. C.J. McCollum pinpoints Pelicans' problems after loss versus Lakers sets up rematch. The New Orleans Pelicans came out with a sluggish effort in the regular season finale against the Los Angeles Lakers. Now the two squads are locked into the 7th versus 8th seed NBA play-in tournament game on Tuesday. LeBron James finished with 28 points, 17 assists, 11 rebounds, and 5 steals to set up a rematch. C.J. McCollum fought back yawns after the latest loss, knowing full well the team's legacy is on the line Tuesday. An admittedly passive Zion Williamson refused to make excuses after losing to the Lakers on national television for the second time this season. Willie Green's Pelicans know they let a golden opportunity to secure a top-six seed slip away. New Orleans opened the game by practically giving Los Angeles a red carpet to the rim while not being able to buy a basket on the other end. The Pelicans made only five of their first 19 triples and James was on triple-double alert by halftime. McCollum couldn't pinpoint a single area where New Orleans could lay blame or fix all ills. The Lakers shredded the Pelicans in too many ways. I think it was a combination. They got turnovers. They got out in transition, some lobs, some dunks, some slips, some backdoor cuts. It was a combination of everything, McCollum detailed. I had some, turnovers, early and they got out and ran in transition, but overall I think 19 turnovers is too many. They are going to get points off of those, they are going to get threes and dunks to feed off that. We got to do a better job taking care of the ball. 
The Pelicans' most recent road trip went well on the court, 4-0, but the last leg of the travel logistics was a nightmare. The team did not fly out of San Francisco until 21 hours after tipping off against the Golden State Warriors. The Lakers had the rest advantage and had even been in New Orleans longer than the Pelicans thanks to plane troubles on the West Coast. McCullum did not want to hear that type of excuse after a grueling 82-game season, not including the in-season tournament run. No excuses, McCullum stated. We didn't play well enough to win tonight. We'll be better in the next game, but it was a good road trip. We were able to get four wins in a row, which is nice. Now we've got to take care of our home court. The Pelicans had a promising nine-minute stretch that was too little too late against the Lakers. New Orleans cut a 32-point deficit down to 17 points with 10 minutes remaining. Los Angeles kept New Orleans at arm's length the rest of the game. Green is known as a defense-first coach, but this is the era of wide-open scoring. The team has to recognize when to lean into each aspect of the game. McCullum, for example, knows the Pelicans have to keep scoring regardless of any defensive lapses if the team wants to have any postseason success. It starts with us executing better on offense, McCullum continued. Giving ourselves a chance by getting a shot every time, not allowing them to get out and run in transition, I'll have to watch the film but we didn't give up 40 points in the third quarter. We didn't give up 40 points in the fourth quarter. Some of it was turnovers. Some of it was better execution on offense and then communicating better on defense. Winning basketball is based on the same foundations of a well-rounded relationship, communication is the key. The Smoothie King Center crowd had no reason to cheer and at the quietest moments, the Pelicans still could not be heard hyping each other up. McCullum was adamant when asked about necessary adjustments due to a lack of communication and offensive cohesion versus the Lakers. We can improve, communicating better and being more solid. Making sure the guys we want shooting are shooting, McCullum explained. They have a real paint presence obviously, with LeBron trying to get downhill, consistently then AD being a role threat. He's offense rebounding and had a couple of dunks. Then coming with back doors, they got a couple of ghost cuts on us. I think that kind of opened the game up a little bit but we've just got to do a better job being more solid, more sound defensively. The Pelicans can find one positive takeaway from the game despite the loss. Brandon Ingram was available following a few weeks on the shelf thanks to an unfortunate, ill-timed knee contusion. It was good to have him back out there, McCullum added. Him getting out there and continuing to get game touches, game experience, game defense down the stretch we thought was important. I'm glad he felt up for the challenge. Obviously, we'd like to get a win with him returning, but we weren't able to tonight. The Pelicans need a win Tuesday or the front office will be under immense pressure to pinpoint an off-season move that would shake up a locker room that had higher expectations at the start of the season. Nikola Jokic's statement before playoff series versus Lakers slash Pelicans. The Denver Nuggets have finished the 2023-24 regular season as the second seed in the Western Conference. Denver will face the Los Angeles Lakers or New Orleans Pelicans in the first round of the playoffs, so they cannot yet prepare for one single opponent. Los Angeles and New Orleans will face off in the 7th versus 8th seed play-in tournament game, and the winner will play Denver. Speaking on the broadcast following Denver's season finale victory over the Memphis Grizzlies, Nikola Jokic expressed a level of excitement for some time off in between now and the opening round, saying, I'm excited to head home. We just opened a pool yesterday or two days ago, so I'm excited to spend a couple days with my daughter at the pool. For me, that's exciting right now. On having some rest time, Jokic said, it's gonna help. Just to heal up, Maybe get you want to play again just to get joy back. The playoffs is coming, so the fun part starts. The Nuggets are hoping to repeat as champions, and certainly feel they have what it takes to do so. With Jokic leading the way, Denver will be a tough out for anybody.
favored many places to win it all again, the Nuggets are trying to become back-to-back -back champions after their first title last year. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Nikola Jokic? Leave your opinion in the comments.